Hey there folks, Rel here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Eridani SX-5 and the Sirius SX-12, both of which are faction-specific SMGs for the Vanu Sovereignty. We'll give you the specifics of each weapon as well as strategies and recommended classes to use them on. Hopefully, at the end of all this, you'll be able to more easily decide whether or not these weapons will fit your personal playstyle. The Eridani and the Sirius are going to run you 1,000 certs or 700 station cash to unlock. Like all SMGs, after you unlock one, it's available to all of your infantry classes except for the max unit. If you purchase an SMG with station cash alone, it unlocks the weapon for your entire account instead of just a single character. So if you have another VS character on another server, then they will also have access to the weapon. The Aerodani deals 143 damage up to 10 meters and drops off to 91 damage at 40 meters. The Sirius deals only 125 damage up to 6 meters and then drops off to 84 damage at 42 meters. Do take notice of the maximum damage ranges between these weapons as it's one of the more important traits that define them. The Aerodani is going to be a 7 shot kill up to 10 meters or an 11 shot kill at 40 meters. The Sirius retains an 8 shot kill up to only 6 meters and drops off to 12 shots at 42 meters. Both weapons have access to soft point ammo, which seems to increase the max damage range by only 5 meters, opposed to the 6 that was previously suggested. So that'll bump your Eridani up to a 15 meter kill range, while the Sirius sits on an 11 meter kill range for maximum damage. And as you can tell straight out the gate, the Eridani edges out the Sirius in terms of effective range, at least from a damage perspective, but they also vary in rate of fire. The Eridani fires at 750 rounds per minute, or 12.5 shots per second. The Sirius is going to fire at 845 rounds per minute, or about 14 shots per second. So the theoretical time to kill, the time to kill assuming that all shots land on the chest, from point blank range, with no break in fire, is 0.48 seconds for the Eridani, up to 10 meters, and 0.5 seconds for the Sirius, up to 6 meters. Now I mentioned the maximum damage distances again because that 4 meter gap is pretty significant. In case you're curious, here's a picture of an enemy at each damage range. Unlike the Cyclone versus the Blitz, the recoil patterns for the Eridani and Sirius actually complement the ranges at which they're meant to fight, but we'll talk a bit about that later. The Eridani has 25 rounds in its magazine by default, and 175 rounds in reserve. In addition, you could bump up the magazine size to 35 rounds by equipping the extended magazine attachment. The Sirius, being the high capacity counterpart, has 50 rounds in the magazine by default, and 200 in reserve. Unlike the Eridani, it does not have access to extended mags. And like any high capacity weapon versus a low capacity one, the Sirius is going to offer you a bit more flexibility in combat. And when I say flexibility, I am talking about how many missed shots that you are allowed before emptying your magazine, or how easily you can kill one enemy and then roll onto the next one without having to reload. As far as bullet velocity is concerned, I usually do not mention it for SMGs because on the whole, it doesn't matter but the difference in bullet velocity between the Eridani and the Sirius is 40 meters per second worth. The Eridani runs at 360 meters per second, while the Sirius runs at 400. Now the statistic in itself, 40 meters per second, that's, that's pretty decent. The problem is that it makes zero difference in actual play. And the reason that it does not matter is because the Sirius' recoil pattern does not really allow you to operate effectively even in medium range combat where that bullet velocity would otherwise be effective. So while it's a nice little perk for the weapon, you won't find it overwhelmingly useful. Anyway, the Eridani reloads at 1.74 seconds short and 2.4 seconds long. That's the shortest reload speed of any SMG, but it only leads out the Cyclone by a tiny, tiny amount. The Sirius reloads in 2.4 seconds short and 3.4 seconds long. So the Aerodonis lightning fast reload means that you can more easily do it in combat, you know, even in the middle of a fight against the same opponent, you turn a corner, you reload to full, then you turn back around and finish them off. That's something that the Sirius can't pull off as easily, and will instead have to find safer places to reload. Thankfully though, the Sirius does have that larger magazine size to compensate. All SMGs, shotguns, and pistols are going to allow you to move at 75% of your movement speed while aiming down sights. Other weapons, save for a few extreme exceptions, restrict your movement to only 50% while aiming down sights. And speaking of aiming down sights, here are where things get a little bit more interesting. I mentioned earlier that the recoil patterns coincide more with each weapon's effective range, and what I mean by that is that the Eridani, for example, recoils up and to the right. 
and it does so with a pretty good deal of consistency. It has a moderate first shot recoil multiplier as well as a moderate vertical recoil value. Most importantly though is that the angle at which the weapon recoils has no variation, and this means that you can drag down into the left and then more easily keep your shots on target. This fits in well with the weapon's damage range as it allows you to nail targets from greater distances and you have the kill potential to back it up. Much different than the Cyclone, for example, that has side-to-side -side horizontal shake, and even though it does have better damage and fall off, the recoil pattern does not allow it to make as much use of it. When you look at the Sirius, the weapon recoils straight up with really nasty deviations to the left and right. The horizontal deviations are the highest of any SMG, and this is actually fine too, because at close range it's sometimes desirable to have a weapon that recoils straight up and then shakes a bit. Contradictory to popular belief, one-sided recoil can be a bad thing, particularly for players who aren't going for headshots all the time. And the Sirius is just that kind of weapon. You point at your target, you hold down the trigger, and then you let the hail of bullets give you the kill. Having to compensate in a certain direction can actually muddle the process a bit. On top of that, a bit of shake and bloom is good in close quarters because there is a such thing as being too accurate. When enemies are dodging to the left and right, it can be difficult to keep your crosshair on the target. It's the same reason that we don't bring high range optics into close quarter situations, because it makes tracking your targets more difficult. So that shake, coupled with the extremely high rate of fire, will help pick up the slack in the aim department. The downside of course is that you don't have the aim cap that the Eridani has access to, so generally speaking someone with perfect aim and an Eridani has greater potential than someone who has perfect aim with a Sirius. Outside of that, the hip fire cone of fire for both weapons are the exact same and among the tightest in the game with an advanced laser sight equipped. Speaking of laser sights, let's give the attachment options a rundown as well. The Eridani and Sirius both have access to scopes 1x through 4x, including 2x and night vision optics. They have a compensator, a suppressor, and a flash suppressor, a flashlight, a forward grip, and an advanced laser sight, but only the Eridani has access to extended magazines, and of course they can both equip soft point ammo. When it comes to scopes, I want to recommend not using the iron sights on the Eridani and instead going for a 1x or 2x reflex, possibly a night vision if you're more of an aim down sights player. The iron sights are really just not useful and make it very difficult to track your targets. It's also worth noting that night vision, and to a greater degree, the 3.4x and 4x scopes will have a tendency to obscure the hipfire reticule while strafing, and this can be somewhat annoying. For barrel attachments, I prefer using the flash suppressor, unless I'm specifically stomping a tower like you see in the footage here, in which case I'll slap on a standard suppressor to mask my radar signature. The biggest problem I have with running suppressors on SMGs is that since your damage range gets choked up, you basically enter into shotgun range if you want to keep your same time to kill. Now this is not an issue with hit and run tactics, but in other situations, this can become a nasty disadvantage. As for the compensator, I couldn't really recommend it, simply because these weapons do not have heavy vertical recoil as it is, and you're also going to be hurting your hipfire cone of fire, which is something that you generally don't want to do. I don't personally run a forward grip, but I could see it being useful, especially on the Sirius, to help reel in that side-to-side -side recoil. However, since SMGs are generally hipfire oriented weapons, taking advantage of the advanced laser sight will be a huge boon to your close quarters capabilities. That said, the toughest choice is always having to decide whether or not to go with extended magazines or sit on that 25 round magazine with an advanced laser sight equipped. Now personally, I feel that this is sort of a catch-22 with the Eridani and with the Cyclone as well, because your hipfire cone of fire just is not amazing while running extended mags, which in turn is going to cause you to miss more shots than you will if you're running an advanced laser. So if you want to run extended magazines, it should probably be because you are either a primarily aim down sights player, or you want to have a bit more versatility when it comes to dealing with multiple targets. On the flip side, if you're primarily a hipfire player who does not find themselves dealing with too many targets at once, then an advanced laser sight is probably the way to go. I say this a lot, but soft point ammo should always be equipped, as the benefits currently outweigh the detriments by a large degree. You'll tack on 5 more meters to your maximum damage range, which can translate to more dead enemies more often. As far as weapon specific strategy goes, the first and most important tip is to stay in your effective range, 
Generally speaking, that's within 20 meters, but the Eridani can step maybe a little bit outside this range and still be somewhat effective. Ideally, you want to stay barely within the 15 meter mark for the Eridani and the 11 meter mark for the Sirius. This way you're milking that easy 7 and 8 shot kill range, provided you're running soft point ammo without a suppressor. This goes for all weapons, but look out for shotgun users. There's a fine line between the shotgun's effective range and that of an SMG. If you hear shotguns going off in the background, you want to make sure that you're either in a situation where you can get the drop on the opponent, or have distance enough to where you can withstand the damage that you'll be taking. It's also important to keep in mind that infiltrators have 100 less shields than other classes, so if you're running an SMG on an infiltrator, you're already going to be losing a little bit of that edge. Hit and runs are key. Ambushing enemies is where the SMG excels. You get in, you take someone out, then you get out. Mobility is your key to survival, and if you can pick off enemies one at a time, then you're going to be in better shape to keep on rolling. If you mess up your shots and then the enemy turns on you, it might just be smarter to run away, reload, and then come back and re-engage. When you're crossing your fingers and hoping to outpace the enemy's damage with the rest of your magazine, that's usually when you'll find yourself getting cut down by an enemy that you didn't see or expect. Hip fire with the Sirius, and aim with the Eridani. This is a sweeping, sweeping generalization, but it's true in many cases. The Eridani does have a better recoil pattern for aiming down sights, whereas the Sirius has a better recoil pattern and rate of fire for hip fire situations. Both of them can cross boundaries, obviously, the Eridani is still a hip fire machine, but this is where the strengths of the weapons tend to set themselves apart. In fact, if I had to guess, I'd say that the bullet spread of the Sirius is the main reason why people feel that it's superior to the Hailstorm and the Blitz. As far as recommended classes go, SMGs are probably most useful on the Infiltrator, and only moderately useful on other classes. Infiltrators don't have any other options for close quarters combat, so this kind of is what it is, but Light Assaults and Engineers get the VX 6 tac 7 and Serpent Carbines, both of which are amazingly powerful in close quarters. For the Medic class, you have the HV-45, which is also very powerful in close quarters, and has versatility while beyond those ranges, but if that doesn't tickle your fancy as much, either due to the lower magazine size, or longer reload, or less manageable recoil pattern, then either SMG can fill a close quarters alternative. For heavy assaults, you always have access to the Orion by default, and the Orion is an outstanding weapon in close quarters, and is still killer even at range. I would not personally replace the Orion with an SMG, but if you feel lacking in the hipfire department, then the Sirius is going to give you better rate of fire at the cost of distance at which you can use it effectively. So if it comes down to making a decision specifically between the Eridani and the Sirius, a couple things to consider are that the Eridani has a higher skill cap, because it has a lower magazine size, it has a quicker time to kill, and is generally a more effective headshot weapon. So if you can aim well, if you can move well, if you can pace your encounters, then the Eridani is going to be a very, very solid weapon. The Sirius is a hipfire monster and never has to make the decision between an advanced laser sight or extended mags. The recoil properties, coupled with the hard stats, gives the Sirius a little bit more versatility and is able to be used more easily by players who can't aim or move as well. Do keep in mind that I am not saying that the Sirius is for beginners and the Eridani is for pros, I'm saying that they have specific styles of play. Both are extremely powerful weapons, no matter how you look at it, and if you don't want to buy class-specific close quarters weapons individually, then picking up either SMG is going to be a nice catch-all solution for your close quarters engagements. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and it's always fun to ask this, especially since the Eridani has been considered underpowered for a really long time, but how do you feel about the Eridani now, if you own it of course? It did receive a buff to its maximum damage range in a recent patch, as it used to be 6 meters just like the other SMGs. Have you dusted off your Eridani since the change, or is the Sirius still your go-to? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks very much folks, we're all signing off.